What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we are back with the Enduro 24 drag build. Uh, so <clears throat> I had already made the video. Um, I had a chance to actually take it outside and do what I had to do with it. So hope you guys enjoy this video and we will come back after that video to talk about what happened. So enjoy it. I'm out here with the Enduro 24 drag. I have the GPS on right now. I'm gonna turn this bad boy on and I'm gonna see what type of speed I can get out of this thing. Um, I got home from work in a good time today, so I figured it's a little windy, but I wanna see what this thing can do. So let's go. All right, hopefully you guys are able to see it. I already have the battery in the truck. Remote is on. This guy is on. Look at that. This thing's gonna rip. All right, so look at this guy. Got it track, start, and let's see what happens. All right. So this thing is not stable at all. Let's try this again. All right. Well, there goes the wing. All right. <laughs> wing came off. Let's try this again. Let's see what we got. Stop. Read. 13 miles an hour, guys. Try this one again. It's just way too bouncy. Give it another rip up. Go again. All right. So I gave it a little more juice at the end there just to see what this thing would do. And let's oh i didn't do it right all right so let's try this again wind came off so this is how i put everything in here the battery just is supposed to just sit right there all the lines and everything go in all right give this thing another shot start all right move this out of the way all right go again now downhill Well, looks like something failed here, guys. 
Uh. So right now I'm just running front wheel drive. I'm gonna try it again anyway. Something came off. Rear wheels locked up. All right. Oh, she's getting the beans now, guys. All right. Well, looks like I uh, <laughs> I bombed the trainee. Oh, these are hot. So I completely blew up the transmission. Or I did something here. So, stop, read, 11 miles an hour. So something happened. Um, all this stuff right here came out from the bottom of this thing. And I don't know where it came from. Oh, so I see exactly what happened now. So all this stuff, that this metal right here, hopefully you guys are able to see it. So what failed was that joint right in there. That joint failed. So this is basically done. Um, but not over yet. So, all right, so I got a total of 14 miles an hour out of it. Um, if I don't know if you guys were able to see it or not, but that joint right in there, it just completely blew apart. Um, the rear drive shaft came off, which isn't good. Uh, it's just running front wheel drive, but even now with running just front wheel drive, it's not really going to go anywhere because as you guys can see down in there it's because I can get these tires to balloon like crazy so yeah if I keep on going with it I'm going to want to blow in the motor I don't want to blow the motor on this thing so since I don't want to blow the motor on this thing, I'm just going to call it a day. Um, <laughs> I was happy that I was able to get a run out of it. At least. I was happy that I was get, going to be able to get a run out of it. Um, so, uh, I wasn't expecting... Uh, I really wasn't expecting this thing to be as bouncy as it was, guys. Um, it really wasn't. Really wasn't expecting it to be as bouncy as it was. The uh, suspension that I put in here, I thought was going to be a little... There we go. Now the rest of it just came out. Kept on going with it and going with it and going with it. There we go. The whole thing just like completely came out. The grub screw is gone. I have more of those, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. I have more. Um, I'm going to try it again. Uh, I'm definitely going to try it again. It's, this thing's just way too bouncy for it to do what it's doing. Um, I was kind of hoping that the tires that I was using, let me turn off the GPS here. Okay. So I was kind of hoping the tires that I was using before would not have made it as bouncy but it did make it 
to the point that it was undrivable and it just kept flipping over. This thing, I was actually able to get a nice clean run going from the tip of my driveway there all the way down to here somewhere, which I'm kind of happy about. I wasn't, I was kind of hoping I would have been able to go faster. The more throttle I gave it, uh, <laughs> it would just spin out of control. So there we have it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, so now let's go over and see what happened with it. So if you guys didn't see very well in the video, I'm just getting all the pieces here. Basically, my drive line blew up. Um, I think one of the culprits for that, I'm going to move you guys in a little bit. So let's move over like so. All right, so there we go. So I think one of the, and of course, as you guys know, the spoiler ended up coming off. Should I even put the spoiler back on? Hit me down in the comments section. If you guys haven't liked or subscribed yet, please hit that like button and subscribe so I can make up some more videos for you guys. Um, but back to this. So I think one of the reasons why, come on, this guy why the drivetrain blew up on it is because one of the reasons could be my motor mount. Uh, if you guys can see it right there, the motor mount, this thing is just literally plastic. I had it going and after the drivetrain blew up, I went to see what was, what could have been the issue. One of the issues I believe is that motor mount that I made out of plastic it, it just vibrates all over the place ridiculously vibrates all over the place so I think that's one of the reasons why what happened happened um, the next thing is as we know the drivetrain just completely blew up which here it is here's the drivetrain for it that was actually from the SCX24 uh, the other thing that basically blew out from it was the joint right there. So it's all in pieces as you guys can all see. But it was fun. <laughs> That's what I can say. It was fun. I had I had my fun with it. Uh, now if I can get this body off. So I'm going to have to come up with an, another drivetrain for this thing um, more than likely probably looking into getting a metal drivetrain for it I'm not going to take the drivetrain <laughs> off of the SCX24 that I just put in that has a video that's going to be coming out soon for that um, but I think the main issue that I had on here was my motor mount because it just flexed and twisted all over the place. And that's one of the reasons why that happened, I believe. So, I got to come up with a new motor mount for this guy. Um, I mean, these joints that I have that ended up blowing up. Again, I think it's the motor mount that just flexing all over the place and this little piece right here is what broke uh, so it just all over the place with all that power that it had uh, luckily I was able to get 14 miles an hour out of it um, I was able to make a run out of it got 14 so it did pretty good I was uh, not excitedly happy about it but I can make do <laughs> um, the other thing was that this is just <sighs> too bouncy what I'm gonna try is putting those other tires back on that I have over here somewhere I don't know where right now but I have them over here somewhere so I'm thinking of trying out those 
tires. Thinking of trying out those tires to see how it's going to be. Maybe it's going to be less bouncy or I might just have to get rid of the suspension altogether, which is a very big option. Um, I'm going to have to just get rid of the suspension altogether and just leave these tires as the suspension part for this thing because it's just bouncing all over the freaking place. So that's basically where I'm at with this. Uh, it's still going to be a work in progress. Of course, it's going to be a work in progress, and uh, hopefully I can get this thing at least 20 miles an hour, at least. If I can get it to 20, I'll be happy. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said in the beginning, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another one. So, you guys have a good one.